Shaw from Star Plus Shop and I wanted to make this video. I've been wanting to make it for a pretty long time. Maybe like the past two to three-ish. Two? Two? It has to be pretty sure it's closer to two years than it is three years. Well, it is the new year. Well, anyway, regardless, um, this is kind of like an explanation of what what's been going on with my brand is it's not a I don't want to say it's an excuse I just want to explain where I'm coming from and I haven't I haven't done this um I'm gonna try my best to not give as many details as possible because I don't personally think that the details are important I just excuse me I just think it's important to know so some time ago around I want to say it was around the new year like go, go, going into 2018 I believe I think like I said it was a, it was a while ago but going into 2018 I questioned whether whether I was a good enough artist because of certain circumstances and those circum certain can't talk those certain circumstances made me afraid it made me feel like I wasn't good enough and it made me feel like well what am I doing with my brand and my brand isn't as popular as other brands out there that are you know the same like uh, black black owned kawaii fashion so because of all of that I held a lot of resentment towards myself and towards my own art <clears throat> and it really has been it, it really it really has affected my confidence like a, a lot because before then even though I didn't draw as often anyway I was always like oh well I mean <laughs> I was like oh well I mean I could just you know make something up or I could just do whatever and I'd be fine like before before Star Post Shop started I feel like I was more likely to just do something just to do it to do it for fun but after after it started I felt that I felt like I was kind of obligated to make it something bigger than what it was or what it has become so whenever the whole incident happened I felt like I'm never gonna I'm never gonna get to where I want to because this person accused me of doing something that I didn't do but in doing so they made me question whether I was a good artist or not like I said in the beginning of the video um, what I what I did wasn't necessarily bad and what they accused me of wasn't necessarily bad but the reactions is what was it is what worried me the most um, I just stopped caring about my brand after a while and it, it was hard it was difficult I would make things to try but but because I was so stuck on what this person said and how others responded to it I was I was holding back on my own creative mind and I wasn't able to create as good of work as I thought that I would be able to make so in turn I dropped a lot of things that I was gonna do I my goodness <laughs> that was absolutely wild my um brand I have like a few lines that I do want to come out with one being uh, kawaii monsters and then the other one being these thugberry girls called fruit punch they're a gang called fruit punch 
Um, each one of them is named after a fruit. I already have uh, peaches and cherry and berry. And I have like two others that I can't remember the name of. But, <laughs> but each one of my characters has a backstory. And each one of them has things that they like. And each one of them is complex. But after... After this thinking about what was going on in my own life, because last year was also pretty stressful. I had a lot of mental breakdowns last year. Um, and I had a lot of anxiety. And I've had, I had at least three panic attacks. And I know three isn't that much, but I'm not the type of person to have panic attacks. So... The fact that I became anxious and I had panic attacks made me realize that I need to get better with my own health. So after Magical Girl Day last year, I, I, I made the decision to just back off a bit from my brand and to reevaluate what I want to do with it. I do still want to actually make clothes and I do still want to push my products. I really like making clothes. I like making products. I like doing things. I, I just I just do. And I don't think that it's wrong of me to want to do things that are pastel and may look similar to other people's things when it's not because in art whenever I went to a uh, school I went to school for animation so I, I had art history classes in those art history classes my teacher told me that nothing is original something has been made at least once and during certain time periods people create the same thing and it just so happens that during this time period, as a black artist in the kawaii fashion, people are going to tend to make the same things. Things are going to tend to be similar, but they're not going to be exact. It's... The whole situation just really messed me up. And... Like I said, my brand, my brand suffered, like, really badly. My brand also really isn't that well known. And that, that's okay. It's okay that it's not that well known. I am still working on it, even though, you know, I've been at it for like, actively at it for like maybe two years. I do know that as, as bad as it seems, I do, I do compare myself to others. And it is difficult to not compare yourself to others. It is difficult to see someone who is making something that is similar to your artwork as well do better than you it it is it is disheartening and i'm not going to sit up here and be like oh well i'm i'm you know i'm okay i'm not i'm happy for their success but i wish that i also had their success as well it's it's okay to want that for yourself is not okay to put down on yourself and what i was doing last year a lot and in 2018 as well i was doing a lot of that i was putting down on myself because of because of this one instance and it just made me made me very mentally unstable i wasn't like to the point of like really hurting myself or anything like that but regardless of the level of depression that I was in, I was still depressed. I was really bad. I was in a really bad state back then and just thinking about how much I broke down, how badly this person tore me down from the inside because of what, how I felt about what they said, about how I really, I really wanted to be friends with this person and for them to for them to say the things that they said, it really hurt me. It it did, and I don't I don't want to sit up here and cry about it because it's it's not like it's not that big of a deal, but it's just that 
I don't want to sit up here and cry about it because in in the grand scheme of things even if I did want to be their friend we're both still competing for the same type of people and they're just they're just better at it than I am and that's okay I just need to figure out what I need to do to make sure that I can also eventually be in that bracket and I traveled and when I sold my stuff and when I heard that people liked my stuff it made me very happy it made me very confident it made me realize that my stuff is good too my stuff is as good as anyone else's out there I just need to actually advertise it and I need to actually do what do what I need to do to make sure that it gets out there it's just it, it is difficult and I need to figure out how to do it I'm not gonna stop creating things I just need to figure out how I'm gonna make sure that my stuff gets out there been getting better I've lost weight my mental clarity is back I haven't been like but regardless I have gotten I have gotten a lot better. I have gotten more happy. I have gotten <clears throat> a little bit more lazy with my business. But in doing so, I do think that the break was necessary for me to take. Sunnier days are ahead. Be on the lookout for more from Starful Shop because I am ready to face my fears. Bye, guys.